Good day everyone, this is Sir Dan Apostol. In this video, we are going to discuss Postulate and Theorem. It is under the mathematical system. What is the difference between Postulate and Theorem? Let us define first Postulate. Postulate is a statement that is assumed to be true and accepted without a proof. Ibig sabihin na yung statement na to ay alam na natin na totoo kahit hindi na natin i-prove. And theorem is a statement that follows logically from previous definitions and principles. A statement that can be proved to be true. So a theorem, bago natin tanggapin na totoo or true, kailangan muna natin i-prove using the previous definitions and principles or using another theorem. So, first, let's have uh, examples of postulates. So, postulate number one. Two distinct points determine a line. So, dito, ang, rep ang representation natin, we have uh, two points. Pag pinanik natin siya, magkakaroon ng line. Kahit hindi na natin i-probe, alam natin na yung two points determine a line. Number two, postulate. A plane consists of at least three non-collinear points. Sabi the, that a plane consists of at least three non-collinear points. So kanina, sa postulate number one, yung dalawang point daw, pag meron tayong dalawang point, nakakabuo ng isang line. Ang plane daw, kailangan ng tatlong non-collinear points. So, mag tayong isang point. Pag kinonect natin yung mga points, so, makakabuo tayo ng isang plane. Alam na natin, kahit hindi natin i-probe, na yung tatlong points, makakabuo ng isang plane. So, that is a postulate. Next, postulate number 3. If two planes intersect, then their intersection is a line. So, yung dalawang planes daw, pag nag-intersect, yung intersection nila ay isang line. So, kahit hindi natin i-prove yan, pakita lang natin sa representation na pag nag-intersect intersect sila, automatically, na mabubuo natin sa intersection ay line. So, these are postulates. Hindi mo na kailangan pang i-prove for you to accept the statement as true. Okay, how about theorem? Let's have an example of theorem. So, theorem number one. If two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary. Ano ba yung supplementary angles? So, supplementary angles are angle pair that have a sum of one, uh, three, uh, 180 degrees. So, ito yung representation natin. We have angle ABC and angle CBD. So, in this uh, theorem, para masabi natin they are supplementary, kailangan natin muna improve. So, by using the definitions ng supplementary angles, Next, theorem number 2. If two angles are verti vertical angles, then they have equal measures. So, I think representation. We have angle ABC and angle EBD. So, sabi dyan, ito daw vertical angle. Angles na ABC and angles EBD they have equal measure. So, para malam natin na they have equal measure, kailangan muna natin siyang improve using the definitions of vertical angles. So, that is a theorem. 
I hope maliwanag sa atin yung difference between postulate and theorem. Again, postulate is a statement na accepted as true without a proof. And yung theorem is a statement that can be proven before accepted as true. So let us uh, answer this activity if we really understand if what is a postulate or a theorem. So let us tell whether if the statement is a postulate or a theorem. Number one, in a right-angled triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. Number two, if two points lie in a plane, then the lines joining them lies in the plane. Number three, a straight line may be extended to any finite length. Number four, any two right angles are congruent. And number five, if two straight lines line intersect, the opposite angles formed are equal. So number one, is it a postulate or a theorem? Okay, that is a theorem. Kasi kailangan mo natin improve that the square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides in an right-angled triangle. Number two, if two points lie in a plane, then the lines joining them lies in the plane. So it is a postulate or a theorem? That is a postulate. Kasi we all know, no, if two points lie in a plane, therefore, the lines joining them lies on the same plane also. Alam natin na sila ay magkasama sa isang plane. So that is a postulate. Hindi na natin kailangan pa i-prove. Number three, a straight line may be extended to any finite length. So that is also a postulate. Hindi mo na kailangan pang i-prove na yung line nag extend so to any finite length. Dahil alam natin na yung straight line nag extend talaga into any finite length. Number four, any two right, ang uh, two right angles are congruent. That is also postulate. Kasi alam naman natin na mag na pareho lang yung right angles. So, kaya kung growin sila, hindi mo na kailangan pang i-prove. Number five, if two straight line intersect, the opposite angles form are equal. So, that is a theorem. Kasi, hindi pa naman natin alam na yung opposite angles na nabubuo if two straight lines intersect are equal. I hope you understand our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. This is Sir Dan Apostol. I hope to see you on our next upload. Thank you and God bless.